What's up guys, Bob Buster here again at Think Computers and today we have a really awesome product. It's the Rockhack ISKU gaming keyboard and this is actually our first Rockhack product. Um, they've been primarily being sold overseas in the UK and things like that but now they're in the US. This is our first product from them that we're actually taking a look at so let's check it out. The box, as you saw in the intro, is actually quite large. We can just fit it into our frame uh, that you guys are looking at right here. And it actually shows a full size, I don't know if it's full size, but a pretty large picture of the actual keyboard itself and goes over a lot of the features. This keyboard has a ton of features, all specific to gamers. There's a lot of stuff that we're going to go over here. But um, on the box itself, it lets you know that it has six lighting levels, three zones for key duplication via easy shift. 36 accessible macro keys included, three thumbster keys as well, uh, which we'll go over. 180 programmable functions, macro live recording, 25 plus media functions assignable to media plus hotkeys, and there is a lot of stuff on this. Now, if we flip it over here, so we can still keep it in the frame right there. Again, a ton of information on the back of this box. Of course, if you're at the, you know, you're somewhere Best Buy or wherever these are sold, I'm really not sure yet in the US, but Anywhere that these are sold, there's a ton of information. It gives you all the information that you would ever want on this keyboard itself. It's just nice so that if you are a hardcore gamer and you want specific things like macro keys or a lot of the different functions that are on this, you're going to know that they're actually on it. Now, we're going to open it up here. And you probably can't even see me open it because the box is so big here. I'll try to get keep you in the frame here. And it looks like there is another box inside. have another box let's move that out of the way and it looks like simply will open here and it looks like we have a nice keyboard here nicely packaged inside go ahead and take that out let's see what we have here so you do get mess everything up because we don't have a lot of room here uh, the keyboard is nicely packaged in everything like that. And then you also get what looks like a quick start guide or something. It probably has your software in here as well. Um, I've heard great things about the software. So this little logo, however you want to see it right there. You can see that. And inside here, we do have your quick installation guide. And you have your drivers and whatever else is on the CD. And it looks like your ID card as well. Um, I'm not sure what that's for. We will definitely get into all of that in the review. Close this back up. It's nicely, kind of makes you feel like you actually bought something important when things come like that. So we're gonna take all this crap off the keyboard and get into it for you guys. Now that we have the keyboard completely out of all the packaging and all the plastic and everything like that, that was on it. The first thing that I noticed, it has the mirror finish around the actual keys. Sometimes I like that, sometimes I don't. It all depends really. One thing that you probably will happen is you're going to get thumbprints and, and fingerprints on this. Um, some you don't as much. I haven't really tested this as I just opened it, so I can't really tell you that right now. The keys are not mechanical keys. We've seen mechanical keys a lot in our gaming keyboards that we've checked out lately. These are not mechanical keys. They are membrane keys, but they do feel pretty good. I like the feel of them. Um, and everything like that. They are mid-sized keys as well. So they're in between say a laptop type keyboard and a full size um, keys keyboard, you know, full size height and everything like that. The two really important functions on this keyboard that are Rocat exclusives are the Easy Shift key and Rocat Talk. Now Easy Shift is pretty familiar. You might be pretty familiar with it. It's where you say like on another keyboard, I have a multimedia keyboard that I use for my main keyboard uh, for typing and things like that. And what it has, it has like, say like a function key, say like it would be like right here. And then maybe you can have multimedia keys on the F1 through F12 or something like that. It's the same type of thing, except for you can use it on any key on the keyboard and there's no specific function key. You can just set one. So say I set, you know, left control as my function key, then I can, uh, then, Every other key can have a different assignment, um, whether it's in game, out of game, anything like that. Say, you know, I, the space bar in game is jump. I hit the, 
you know, the easy shift key and now it's reload, something like that. Um, it's really, really cool and I really like it. Now what's really awesome is they have the same technology on their mice. So if you have a Rocat mouse and you they that mouse also has an easy shift key, you can hold that in and now you have twice as many buttons on your mouse. Rocat Talk brings both of those things together. So on your keyboard while you're in game or anytime, you can hit the easy shift key and it translates to your mouse as well. So you don't have to hold in the easy shift key on your mouse and then type it out. Um, I hope that explains that. I know it's kind of hard to understand. If you go to Rocat's website, it will go over all their technologies that are in these products, but those are the two really exclusive things that are on this keyboard. Another really cool feature of this keyboard is the thumbster keys. I'm gonna to try to give you guys a close up here so you can see. These three thumbster keys right there, and they can be programmed to whatever you're doing. And what I like about them is that if you're playing all the time, I mean, this is how I, this is how I play like this with my hand right here and my, um, my thumb ready to jump or something like that in game. And there's no other buttons down here. So maybe I can set this to reload or, you know, knife or something like that. I can use these, um, in game, you know, so my thumb actually has something else to do rather than use the space bar. Another great feature of the Rocat ISKU is, of course, macros. If you have a gaming keyboard nowadays, it should have macro keys. You have five different macro keys and five different profiles. You can also have a Windows profile as well. So if you're if you're going into Windows, or the the keyboard will know when you you know minimize into Windows, and it can switch back to that Windows macro. What's also really cool, this has on the fly macro recording. So there is a record button. Bring it up close so you guys can see. Right up there, there is your macro record button. And what that does is that allows you to record on the fly, whether you're in game, out of game, you hit record, you hit whatever macro it's gonna be, whether one through five, and then you do your command and then it's saved as a macro on the fly. Also, there are five different profiles, so you can switch those on the fly. And what's cool about this keyboard is you can program any key on the keyboard to be your macro switch. So it could be one of the thumbster keys, however you wanna do it. The keyboard also has a full set of multimedia keys. Um, let me bring them up here real close. So you can see them uh, right up there. And now again, with the software, all of these keys can be made to what you want them to be. Um, by default, this will be mute, volume down, volume up, play pause, back, forward, www, and I guess this would be like my computer or home or something like that. Uh, these all can be changed to whatever you want. And again, this does have a full number pad. Hopefully you guys can see that right there, full number pad and everything. And there, there is the illumination button, which, we're, which we will get to at the end of this video. On the back, you can see there are, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, two, four, six. There are six rubber pieces here on the bottom that are gonna keep the keyboard from moving around a lot. And then you do have two nice big feet. I'm trying to get this all in the frame. There we go, two nice feet. They're gonna put it at an angle. Move that up there. And what's also cool is the wrist rest is non-removable. Um, I kind of like that. I don't like ones that are removable because a lot of times when I, when I put a, a pressure on it, it kind of moves. The wrist rest kind of moves, so this one doesn't move. It's it's uh, just like a plastic wrist rest. I, I do like it. Uh, it gives me the support that I would need. I haven't, like I said, I just opened this, so I haven't you know, used this for a while, so I really don't know. Um, but that is about it for the main overview of the keyboard. We're gonna get to illumination next. So now I have the keyboard plugged in and I believe there's six different levels of illumination. You're not gonna be able to see it as much because we are in the daytime, um, but here we go. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six is off. So we'll put it to the highest. So that is the highest right there and it's nice, lovely, Blue illumination, no other colors, but I like it. The only thing that isn't really illuminated is our multimedia keys up top, but that's really not a huge deal to me. I know some people would be, but um, that is about it, guys. This is the Rocat ISKU gaming keyboard. 
Check back very soon for the full review on thinkcomputers.org. I also believe we are going to do a full video overview of the software because that's what Rocat is really known for. So check back for that. And as always, if you like our videos, make sure you subscribe. Catch you guys later.